What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and welcome to a quad feed with every DLC gun in Modern Warfare. This video is going to feature a quad feed with every primary and secondary weapon that was added into Modern Warfare post-launch. Doing a quad feed with every DLC gun is a first for me on the channel, I know a lot of you guys wanted to see this as well, and honestly, I actually don't mind Modern Warfare that much, so I figured why not, let's go for it. Let's get things started here with Season 1, that's right, we're not going to be going in order of like a saw rifle SMG like we typically do with these videos, we're going to be going from Season 1 all the way to Season 6, starting with the Ram 7. Now as I'm sure you're gonna notice in these clips one of the main differences between this DLC gun video and the original Modern Warfare quad feed with every gun video is that I'm probably mostly playing on shipment and I'm sure you guys know this already shipment is 100% undeniably the best place to go for clips and if you're playing hardcore it makes it even easier so map wise as far as it goes for hitting quad feeds I'm pretty sure most of it's gonna be on shipment there's some shoot house as well Russ is actually really good I mean it's pretty typical man these all get thrown into one playlist Holy shit, are you kidding me? But aside from the first two guns for season one, obviously the crossbow, this one was definitely not the easiest to pull off. This just kind of casually happened when I was playing hardcore on Rust. Get embarrassed, kid, you're trash. Oh, triple crossbow kill. Nice. Oh, split quad feed. <laughs> so yeah, no, it was a split quad feed, but I mean, I don't think it's gonna get much better than that because pulling off a, a clean crossbow quad feed is damn near impossible. But now we're on season two and we're moving on to the grout and yeah. Oh my God. She got a quad headshot feed! <laughs> yeah, I just remember first going for the quad feeds on Modern Warfare, having to play on poo poo maps, and here we are now, doing this on Rust. It, it's ridiculous. What the f DUDE! This is insane! Did they give up on me? Oh my. Nope. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm still going. Up, oh, now it's over. But yeah, now we're moving on to our final weapon for Season 2, which is the Mini Brecci, and it's definitely no AA-12 now that we're in Season 6, but it's still pretty good. Oh my fucking god, what? Come on. Ah, oh, dude! I don't even know what that was. Was that a five man? But just like that, we're moving on to season three, starting with the Brayden MK9. This LMG is pretty gross, and using it on shipment in hardcore is probably the most disgusting thing you can do. Yeah, this was definitely not one of the more difficult quad feeds to get. I think by far, the hardest one was probably the crossbow, and the best part is that it kind of just happened on accident. But now we're moving on to the skith. And the skiss is pretty good. It wasn't too difficult to pull off either. But our last gun for season three is the Rathfakuri Mastered. I do have the three round burst on. And I mean, honestly, you could pull it off with semi-auto three round burst. I mean, it's shit, man. They just happen to spawn there. <laughs> oh my. Oh my God. <laughs> but now we're moving on to season four, the season of quads. And we actually got four guns. So this worked out perfectly. We're starting off with the CR-56 Amax. Is that the right name for it? I hope so. Oh. Oh! And this gun is just so dang good that I had to include two cleats. Why am I talking like this? I definitely got tons of feeds with this. I mean, there's still clips that I have saved. I just didn't want this entire video to turn into an Amax montage, so I'm holding up. Uh -huh. Oh my. <laughs> yes, Mandark, yes! Holy fuck! Oh my god! That feed was huge! Thank you, Mandark! That wasn't Mandark, that was Mara from Staples. Which transitions perfectly into this next gun, which is the staple gun. I had such a blast making that video, and yes, the Fennec, or the Vector, is insanely good. Pulled off an easy feed on shipment, just like basically everything else. Why'd they all spawn it? <laughs> Is that a kill chain? But honestly, when it came to the Rytec AMR, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to pull off a quad feed. So I'm going to invite my buddy in here. Come come, come here. No, I don't want to. Come on, Boost. You're, you're the one that hit the clip. Uh, fine, I guess I'll do a commentary. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Phase Boost. I'm the one that hit the dank quad feed with the Rytec AMR because Eric is a scrub. All he does is hit ray gun feeds in hardcore on shipment. He is trash. Phase Boost out, bitches. All right, that's definitely the last time we're having him do a commentary. But now we're moving on to the Kali 6, which is the last... Well, it's not a gun, but it's the last weapon for Season 4. Boom! Four-piece sushi roll just got ordered. Now we're moving on to Season 5. And Season 5 was definitely a little bit of a tricky one, too. Not necessarily because of these guns. I mean, the AN-94 is really good. I managed to pull off this quad feed playing on Hackney Yard, which is considered to be a rare sighting considering all the shipment clips. <laughs> which, speaking of which, now we're back on shipment with the ISO. I think this might have been core, though. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I loaded up the stopping power rounds and got this miracle quad feed through smoke. Oh shit, that's quad feed? What? It was basically the same thing with the Finn the Human LMG. Just spray for your life on shipment and you'll be able to pull off the clips. And for our final weapon for season five, we have the dual Kadachis, which is basically the akimbo swords. I don't know if you guys could tell, but for both the sword and the stick clip, I was actually playing out on the couch and I just recorded this with PlayStation, so that might explain the worst quality. But nonetheless, I got some pretty good quad feeds with them. But guys, this is the moment of truth. We have season six, what I'm pretty sure is the final season for Modern Warfare, because if it's not, this is gonna be very awkward. Also, the AS Val with the semi-auto rounds is stupidly good. I barely even had to aim for the quad feed. And now we're moving on to the Jack 12, which is the AA-12 remastered. And if you want to talk about not needing any skill to hit clips, just watch this. Oh. 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 That was sick! 
I got an advanced UAV. The sweatiness has paid off. It's still paid off. Oh my god. Yeah, if you can get back to back kill chains that easily, you know something's wrong with the gun. But now we're going to be moving on to the R700 Remastered, which I believe is the SPR 208. I got this clip the very first time I was using the gun. I barely even had any attachments, and I got a five man with it. And unless, of course, Infinity Ward is going to surprise us with a season seven, that's pretty much it for the quad feeds. But we're going to be moving on to some bonus clips that I wanted to put into this video as well. Because I did hit some pretty cool clips just casually by playing Modern Warfare. I don't know what animal I stepped on while I was going for this quad feed. You might be able to hear it in the background, but. I managed to pull off a Dragon's Breath 5 man on Sawmill. Oh my lord! I didn't forget the name of the map, don't judge me. But now we have an infected quad feed. I don't know why I'm really putting this one in there. I figured, hey, I got a quad feed and infected. Let's just put it in. <laughs> no, I got a quad feed! I know right now it just seems like a bunch of shotgun clips, but there's gonna be some crazy shit coming up. I just had some of these leftover Dragon's Breath clips. I'm pretty sure this one was actually used in a video. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? <laughs> But now we're back on shipment with the Brecci, an RPG, and a Dream, and I can't believe I got this lucky. No. Okay. Another quad? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Holy sh- Another one! What the fuck?! Oh my god. Jesus! Only on shipment in Modern Warfare 2019 will you get back-to-back -back quads with an RPG. But now this is the newly buffed FAL, or I mean, it's not that new, but when it got buffed, I figured, hey, let's try to go for a quad headshot feed now that it has this insane headshot potential. And I got a split quad head. I was trying so hard to actually get a clean quad headshot feed, but I got pretty close. Ow! I got a split quad head. This was a random clip from playing on the couch. I wanted to try to hit a quad feed with the shotgun attachment and really early on in the game's life cycle, I kind of hit like an on-screen split quad five man. That guy flopped. I don't even know. And we're going to finish the video strong with a faith boost trick shot. Ha You can't kick me out of the video. Ha! You suck! But that, my friends, is going to do it for a very weird quad feed with every DLC gun in Modern Warfare. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you could drop a like on this video and share it with anyone who you might think enjoy watching this video. Because even though I'm goofing around a little bit more on this video and the clips were a little bit easier to hit because of shipment, it still was a grind and it took a lot of time to get all the clips. So yeah, whatever you guys can do to support this video is greatly appreciated. And now that we're officially done with Modern Warfare, I hope you guys are looking forward to a quad feed with every gun in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So again, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed a quad feed with every DLC gun in Modern Warfare. If you guys did and you want to see some more quad feed videos in the future, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Hey,